it's Lisa from Permanent Gatherings and I'm back again with another embroidery stitch. This stitch is going to be the cross stitch. Now the cross stitch I use on my stems. Instead of going up blanket stitching up one side and down the other on a stem, I like to cross over. It gives it a nice different texture to the whole piece instead of everything being blanket stitch. So I want to show you how I do that. First thing, I'm going to thread my needle quickly here. And if you don't know how to do this, I'll have a, another video on how to do what I just did there. It's quick and easy. Put a knot in the end. I'm going to start on one side, the top side of the stem or the vine or whatever you want to call this shape here. And I'm going to lay the thread down over the wool shape. Now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to move over about a quarter of an inch and I'm just going to scoop under the vine. And that is just going to create a diagonal stitch. So over a quarter of an inch and not a wimpy quarter of an inch, kind of a nice quarter of an inch. And then you just keep doing that until you run out of thread, you run out of stem. And see where my beginning and end is there. So we're just going to go right over the top of that as well and that'll close up nicely and you won't see that later on. Alright, so see how I went all the way one way? Okay, now if I went, I'm just going to start and stop so you can know how to do that too. Alright, so let's just say I ran out of thread. So I'm just going to end, I go down, finish that cross, Go to the back side, take a little bite, make a loop, go through the loop once, go through twice. Now I can cut it. All right. So then I rethread. Should have had this all done. But you get to see how I do this again. Lay the thread over your finger, place the eye of the needle over and just roll your finger away and push down. Quilter's knot in the end. All right, so now I'm gonna pretend like I went all the way around. So now I'm gonna start again on the top. And all I'm gonna do is figure out where I, what I want. I wanna cross, so I just lay the thread there. So I know the thread, I have to push my needle right here and come up a straight stitch scoop under and that creates the uh, second half of the diagonal. So right where you go where the other stitches have been, that is where the needle comes in and out. And you just continue to do it that way. All right, so that's what we're looking to get. And you see how when it's on a smaller stem, you might do it a little bit smaller. But just play around with it and you will get the look you want. Thanks everyone.